I have not done weather coverage of this type since April 19th of 1996 when F3 tornadoes hit Decatur, Urbana, and Ogden. Pull up and, the side uh, up here. This storm operate this thing. The wall clouds right over there. <laughs> it help if this thing would focus for a change. I've got to do something about the manual focus on the camera. The thing keeps losing focus. Either near or just east of Highway 51 right now. Oh, this is awesome. This is one of the most powerful storms I've ever seen. So, give me an idea about where it might be. Right over there or right over here? Should be right over here. Right over here. Okay, I thought so. Right over that house out there. All right, I'm going to put my. At this point, it would pass, I believe, about five miles north of us. This is just amazing. Now in a few moments, it's kind of cold out here. This is cold inflow for some reason, but it's moist. That's why it feels so cold. Boy, is it cold. The winds that are being kicked up right now are probably about... Try not to shake, but that combination of adrenaline and cold kind of makes that hard to do. Winds are probably kicking up at about 30 mile an hour. The tripod is that. We need your, uh, we need that electric thing. But a tornado warning has now been issued for southeastern McLean, northern Piatt, east, eastern DeWitt, and northwestern Champaign County in East Central Illinois until 10.30 p.m. Locations impacted by this uh, tornado warning include DeWitt, Weldon, the land, Farmer City, Mansfield, Bellflower, Muhammad, Lincoln Woods area, also Coons Land and Fisher. At 9.38 p.m., National Weather Service Doppler radar was tracking a tornado eight miles west of Weldon or about four miles southeast of Clinton, moving northeast at 40 miles per hour. And in addition to a tornado, the storm is capable of producing golf ball tail and destructive straight line winds. Repeating, a tornado warning is in effect for southeastern McLean, northern Piatt, eastern DeWitt, and northwestern Champaign counties in central and east central Illinois. Thank you don't realize populated areas this east is, of boy. Springfield so far. Where, but still, are we near Decatur? A, a very uh, We're north of the Whoa. Your I don't think I got that one. Uh, it's something that can cause a lot of a lot of uh, problems for you. Got that one. It says guys meant to say the winds are about 40 if miles. If you get that in the area, I would not. I said the winds are probably about 40 miles an hour. Using the estimate, April. It looks 40, like this particular tornado is In passing flow. by, and it does look like it's probably at this point going to be near. Blue Ridge, Bellflower, Fisher, that general area. Tornado seems to be heading in that general direction at this point. Okay, we have a report of people trapped in the basement of a house just south of Latham. So we, we talked about a tornado passing through the Latham area. And apparently uh, that's just south of Latham. And, uh, People are trapped in the basement there, according to a storm report that we have. Once again, I have a camera. Folks don't have a clue of how windy it is out here. Don't very, very, very powerful cell.
Oh, there's the wall cloud. Yeah, there's the wall. I knew it. It was right over the top of them gray silos out there. We're going to see it from here. I'm going to oh, zoom in a just view. a little bit. Give me a view. I'm seeing what you're seeing. Right where them grain silos at, there's a wall cloud of rotating that look like. Man, if they're smart, they'll stop like we did. I've got the magnet on the back door of the top car.